Hello? This is private property, you need to move. I don't consent. No, I do not consent. Thank you. You need to go now or we're going to ring the police. Are you All right then, so as you've seen in this one, this is going to be a wild Karen. I don't know how Ash keeps finding these wild Karens, but he's found another wild Karen in the wild. As to Cheek to come out onto public property and say, this is private property, you need to move, and then grab his camera. Yes, he grabbed his camera, which luckily Ash doesn't run a gimbal or anything like that. Because certain gimbals for the, I believe he uses a Canon M50. Or a cannon of some sorts. But gimbals for them can run in the hundreds, sometimes the thousands, if you're willing to spend that money on it. And grabbing the camera like that can damage it. So this, as you can see, is a crazy Karen in the wild. So let's just get straight into it. Welcome to the channel. So I don't understand people like that will come out to somebody with a camera and fair enough she didn't do anything but say hello, 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 hello. But what if he was deaf and he reads lips to communicate? You've covered your face up so you can't actually see. So how can you expect him to communicate or potentially communicate if he is a deaf person? Now, is not, and this is a silent audit, but there is that potential there for him to be a deaf person. So, it's a bit silly, isn't it? Let's just continue. Excuse me? What are you doing? Can... You need to stop filming, sorry. You haven't got permission to do that. We'll ring the police. That's an invasion of our privacy. We're going to ring the police. Okay then, so it just shows how stupid these two are. One of them believes it's an invasion of privacy. Well, it's not invading your privacy. Is on a public footpath recording, which is lawful and lawful to do so. And the second one honestly believes that you need permission to record you? Nope. You can film whatever you can see in public. If you want privacy, you can get a netting for your fence or you can get tint for your windows. That is how you create your privacy. Excuse me, can we ask what you're filming for? Hello? Can I ask what you're filming for? Hello? This is private property, you need to move. You need to move, this is private property. Can you go back on your, on your bike, please? Consent. No, I do not consent. Thank you. 
You need to go now or we're going to ring the police. Are you listening to us? <laughs> right, we're going to ring the police. Yeah. Yeah, someone's got, someone's just taken a picture of him, Anna, so, from the office. All right, and so this is a new one we haven't really covered, and it is the Criminal Justice and Public Order Act of 1994, Section 154, which is offensive of causing intentional harassment, alarm, and distress. These women could be prosecuted under this because they went in, and then they come out to it intentionally, confront ash in this in this uh, video so that in itself could be alarming or distressing for ash you did see him backing up backing up backing up and they chased him across the road and continued to put their hands in his face which could be which a, a person could find alarm alarming or distressing so under this section this is what it says i'll just let it that bit's irrelevant because that only applies to in a house. For a intentional harassment, alarm or distress. 1. A person is guilty of an offence if, with intent to cause a person harassment, alarm or distress, he. A. A uses threatening, abusive or insulting words or behaviour, or disorderly behaviour, or. B. Displays any writing, sign or other visible representation which is threatening, abusive or insulting. So, thereby causing that or another person harassment, alarm or distress. So they, the words wasn't threatening or insulting, but the behavior could have been classed as disorderly behavior because no normal person, in my opinion, would walk up to somebody and start putting their hands in the face, chasing them across the road and that lot. So that, to me, is disorderly behavior, which is an offense under 154 of the Criminal Justice and Public Orders Act of 1994. Now, you can disagree with me, that's perfectly fine, but this is what I believe has has happened in this. In this. So, these women deliberately come out, and then they was being disorderly, having disorderly behaviour to a person just exercising his rights to film in public. And we ask him to stop filming, you refuse it, don't speak a word. The police are on the way, just so you know. The saddest thing about all this is that woman that come out recording is doing the exact same thing Ash is doing, but because they're using it as police evidence, evidence for the police or whatever the bloody said, right? They think it's all right. Now, what the police should do, which we, we, we know they're not going to, is come, see the video, go in, and tell them not to, to ever put hands on anybody. Ever. You are under no legal obligation to put hands on somebody unless if they are committing an offence, and then you can citizens arrest that person using reasonable force, or you are being attacked and you can use reasonable force to defend yourself. The only time you should ever put hands on somebody is those two times. Not because they are filming. 
that does not give you the right to put hands on somebody. So when the police do come, they should educate these two dipsy women and tell them, you are lucky he did not defend himself. But the thing is, if Ash did that, the police would probably arrest him. blah de blah de blah Why? Because our police are absolutely useless. Yesterday, I was sat there enjoying the day, and what did I see all over the bloody, all over Facebook and all this other stuff? I had family members showing me in Leeds, a lot of, uh, what was it, Muslims was attacking the police, and the police had run off. They tipped over the cars, they smashed them up. The police are absolutely useless. Now, if that was the other way, now, if that, I'll say the other way around, but no. Now, now, why did the police run off? Because they was outnumbered. Why was they outnumbered? Because they're useless. What did they do? They run off, let the cars get damaged. No, I don't think anybody got arrested because I was not interested in looking at that story at that moment in time yesterday. I am going to look into it more today. But, yeah, let's just continue. Please, can I ask what you're doing? I'm asking a logical question. Just found the police, Jack. Yeah. Right. So that's basically the end of that video. You had somebody come up with the idea that he might actually be deaf, but was not in his visual eye of sight. So she said, do you do sign? That is a possibility that you are deaf. And if this, that's the case, maybe he needs to look at you to know that you're actually talking to you. Because I don't think Ash actually showed that woman any, any clue that he even looked at her or acknowledged her whatsoever. Now, she was the only one who might have had a little bit of common sense that this person might be deaf. But still didn't go out of the way to try and reckon, do anything for it. This company I would boycott as you've got uh, wild Karens. It seems like all of the workers there are wild Karens. I feel sorry for the guy at the end as he's being dragged in by a Karen to get involved. And to me, that was just another way of intimidating Ash by hoping, by sending a, a mail there to try and in my opinion, intimidate him like that would make a difference. All of this is just my opinion. Let us know in the comments down below. You thought of this interaction as always, like the video it does up in YouTube's algorithm, and I'll catch you on the next one.